Hello and welcome back to Scale Modeling Cafe and welcome to the first in the 2024 new releases. In fact, it's not the first, is it? Because I've done uh, mini art. So the second 2024 manufacturer new release, newsflash type videos. Now, uh, I've called this part one because this is just a an early announcement of a kit that Edward have made. They did it on a, on a podcast and... Um, we are waiting with bated breath for January 2024's newsletter, which no doubt will detail all their plans for the year. Now, they've already, I was going to say let slip. It's not really let slip. They've already announced P40 series that's coming next year. We'll certainly see the P40E next year in 148 scale. No idea uh, if we're going to see any of the other variants next year. We'll have to wait and see. We also know that they're going to continue with the ME109 series in 72nd scale. The G5, G6 uh, was released just before Christmas or just before the new year anyway, certainly. And uh, we're going to start seeing the, uh, the other variants of that. The G10, the AS variants, the 6 and the 14 and finishing off with the K4. Um, whether we'll see two-seaters or not, I don't know. Two-seaters were mentioned in 48th scale as well. Uh, so I imagine we'll see those next year. Items that have definitely been postponed from next year are the Avia S199 in 48th scale, which is a real shame, and the Blanet Glider. And they said that sales were down, so much so they're bringing forward... Uh, kits that they know are going to be good sellers and one of those is their brand new announcement which is a 172nd scale p51d mustang now it's i think it was kind of inevitable that they were going to do this as for the timelines have they brought it forward uh possibly uh i don't really know i guess we'll have to wait for more detail in the newsletter but it's caused a bit of a, a ripple already. And one of those ripples, a big ripple, is what about Armour Hobby? Armour Hobby last year said that they were going to do a bubble top P51D Mustang in 72nd scale as well. Their B slash C was extremely well received. I have that kit. It looks beautiful sat in the box. I fully intend to make it at some stage, even though it's not a subject that immediately floats my boat. But will one take sales away from the other? I don't know. Edward has, I would say, had would have wider appeal, wider reach, a more established brand, a, dare I say, bigger brand following, armour hobby... Uh, are a little bit, obviously they're a smaller company, a little bit more niche, I suppose. But I think it'd be really interesting to get both, actually. And I probably will. Uh, assuming Armour Hobby are still going to go ahead with theirs. Now, I'm imagining that Armour Hobby have, uh, are further down the design path. All we've seen so far from Edward are some CAD shots, uh, which normally means they're a fair way away. As for where Armour are um, in their process, I've no idea. I don't think any, only the only people who know are Armour. And are they going to accelerate that and, and try and beat Edward to market? Maybe they don't have to. Maybe it's almost ready to go anyway. But it's, it's a real interesting one to see what happens. Now, I'm going to uh, guess now that the Armour Hobby kit is not going to be riveted. And I say that because none of the other 72nd scale kits are. Obviously, their 48th scale Hurricane was riveted and that was beautifully rendered. Are they at a stage now where they feel comfortable in doing riveted 72nd aeroplanes I really hope so personally yes we've got the age-old discussion of how do they do the wings do they do them 
puttied? Do they do them with just the panel lines, which is traditionally how it's been done, leaving the modeler to fill the panel lines if they wish? Or are they going to rivet the entire thing? I very much suspect, and this, again, this is a pure guess, that there's going to be no rivets and it's just going to be panel lines all over, including the wings. And it's up to the modeler if he wants to fill them in. How will it compare with the Edward kit? It will be on a par. Edward, I think, definitely will have a riveted fuselage. That's how they did their 48th scale kit. And personally, I love that approach. We can go down the argument of, you know, is it realistic and blah, blah, blah. I think that's a discussion for another day. Uh, as for the wings, I'd imagine it'll be along the same lines as their 48 scale kit and it'll just have the panel lines. And again, it'll be up to the modeler if they want to fill in those panel lines. The cockpit detail, um, I'm going to guess in the armor kit is going to be absolutely superb because the one in the B slash C kit was absolutely superb. The, the, the plastic parts themselves are just beautiful and very complete. And then a full decal set for the cockpit, which is absolutely fantastic. Edward, no doubt, will go some way down the same route. You can expect Color Photo Etch in the Profi Pack versions, obviously the, the canopy masks. Very much suspect that the initial boxing will be a dual boxing, which suits me because 70 second scale is quite easy to do two at once. I'm about to embark on their 48 scale Spitfire 5 dual boxing. I still don't know whether I'm going to do both side by side or I'm going to build one, then build the other and then paint both together. I still haven't made that decision, but it's um, what I did with the... 109 F's that I've done on the channel and I'll leave a link at the end um, screen thing is um, I did exactly that I built one then I built the other and then I painted them uh, I like to do it that way because I, I realize efficiencies when I'm going along um, but I also like doing one after the building one after the other because you could learn some lessons on the first one and um, apply them in the second but guaranteed, I think, I say guaranteed, I think, it's a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? But no doubt, it'll be a dual boxing first, which I very welcome. And, uh, yeah, as for timelines, like I say, we'll have to wait for the detail of that in the, uh, in the newsletter, which is going to be very, very soon. In fact... Uh, it's the fifth today and I'm surprised we haven't seen it already if I'm honest uh, but I'm keeping my uh, ear close to the ground when I get more granularity to use a HQ word uh, I won't do a whole video just to say this is the expected release date obviously it'll be in my weekly uh, I'll update you in my weekly update and I will um, update you in the part two aspect of this video which will be when the newsletter comes out i'll also bung it on my facebook page there we are so um edward 170 second scale um p51 d mustang bubble top um really very very welcome very exciting times they did say that uh, 70 second fans were going to be in for a treat this year and uh, yeah i'm uh, i'm hoping i'm hoping we'll see some spitfires in 70 second as well there we are i'll leave it there um because i've got some other videos to record now on other manufacturers so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you soon cheers bye bye